you know, when I started uh, learning biomimicry, uh, I think it was about three or four days into the course, I, I was learning it. There were two ways. I was learning it from, from a website and I was also, I had also uh, attend, uh, you know, enrolled in a class uh, which was, and um, I, after I learned what is biomimicry, why biomimicry, what, wh how does one mimic all those things, I thought that's what it is, right? I, I said, oh, I have learned biomimicry. So this class had three sections. So section one was over, section two was over, section three I thought was just going to be a revision of section one and two. And when section three happened, I, 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 I can't even describe the feelings I had, okay? I was completely taken aback. Of course, I was a little bored. I said, what is this? I thought biomimicry is over. But then when I started looking at what is in store for me to learn, I said, this can't be true. Because in the first instance, I got completely transformed by knowing that you can learn from nature. The second instance, I got completely transformed by knowing that this is the way nature designs. That these are what is called the design principles of nature that when nature makes something, she uses the following principles. And all these principles are mind-boggling principles. All these principles are so, so important in saving the earth. If, if, I, I think in the future, I think, in, and that's why you must listen to what I'm going to say with, 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 with lot of involvement, because I think in the future, when you make something, the investor who is going to invest some money into your, into your product or process, he will probably insist that you, your product or process satisfies all these principles. Actually, when you come to a portion on evaluate, this is what you will learn. So what you are going to learn now, what you are going to learn now, is called nature's unifying patterns. So in your mind, what do you think, what do you tell yourself? You tell yourself, I am learning how nature designs. What is it that nature does when it does design? And why should you learn it? You should learn it because, number one, all these designs, all these principles go to, to, to save the environment to keep everyone safe and second, you will understand that if you make something, if you make a product or process using many of these principles versus someone who does not use these principles, the person who is giving you money to make it, he will choose between you and the other person. He will say he is going to give the money to you for investing because you have followed these principles and none of them harm the environment. I wish someday, I wish someday all these principles become mandatory before something is done. So what you see in front of you are the 10 principles. They're also known as nature's unifying patterns. I'm, I'm taking the liberty of, of saying design principles because that, that's the way I understand it, right? And I'm not going to, I'm not going to get into all of this. What we will do is over the next eight weeks, we will explain two or three every session so that you're not overburdened with these principles. But it'd be nice to just sort of, you know, just, just use this time to, you don't have to learn it. You don't have to learn it by heart and all that. Just use this time to understand the, 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 uh, the import, the, 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 the effect that each of these principles can have, okay? So, and, and if any of you can, can actually say why, in your own words, why is this important? Or if a present product is there in your room, if you can say, how can I improve the product using any of these principles, you know, you're going to make your first, first, uh, what, one crore rupees? Yes, I'm not, I'm not joking, okay? Just look at these principles now. So the first one, nature uses only the energy it needs and relies on freely available energy. No need to explain. I'm not going to explain it anyway now. I'm just reading it out so that it gets 
embedded in your mind. Nature uses only the energy it needs and relies on freely available energy. Nature therefore does not, is not wasteful as far as energy is concerned. Nature recycles all material, which is the problem all of us have, right? Our inability to recycle all materials. Nature is resilient to disturbances. The word resilient is so powerful. You know, once I had to, I had to draw my logo and one of the exercises maybe we'll do. And at that time I had, I had gone through several struggles in my life. So at that point of time, when I was asked to describe myself, I described myself as a, my life as a tennis ball because the tennis ball bounces on the wall and comes back, bounces on the wall and comes back. So a tennis ball is what is known as resilient, getting back up from disaster. So nature is resilient to disturbances. Nature always has a way of coming back to life. And if there might, there might be actually a, a leadership lesson over there, right? There might actually be a big lesson on how can we learn from nature in order to be resilient. Nature tends to optimize rather than maximize. Right? How many times do we build room after room after room after room after in, your ho in our house when we actually what we really need is very little space? So therefore, this is, is, is a lesson for every one of us when, you know, if, if we can say less is more is a, is a very nice way to describe this. Just think about it. I'll keep coming back to this again and again and again because these are brilliant life principles. Nature provides mutual benefits. You know, it's so, it's so, it's such an altruistic nature of, 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 uh, for nature, right? That if I do something for you, you do something for me. There are actually some great videos by, uh, by uh, David Attenborough on, on nature. And one beautiful, just look at, I don't want to spoil the fun for you. Just look at this video on the sloth bear, right? Just go YouTube. Um, nature, um, David Attenborough, Sloth Bear. It's a beautiful video. You will understand mutual benefits immediately. Nature runs on information. Right? So when nature, for instance, uh, many, many plants, many plants protect themselves the minute they get information, right? So therefore, this we will, this we will have to look at a little more detail as to what is the information that nature gathers and how does it use that information. Nature uses chemistry and materials that are safe for living beings. This is brilliant, right? So therefore, most of the things that we make, uh, remember when uh, Mrinalini was talking to you about the color and the dyes, right? why is it that that slide was important? Because when we make color, we, we pollute the entire, uh, you know, there, there, are, there, are, there are cities in India that have been completely polluted because of of industries that pollute the water, pollute the land. And many of these chemicals are toxic. You can't even use that land after some time. You can't even use, the water is actually discolored. I mean, it's, it's of a different color. It's not even like water. That's because we are so used to producing toxic chemicals, but nature doesn't do that. Nature builds abundant resources, incorporating rare resources only sparingly. How much, right? How much of, 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 of rare resources do we just waste, right? So actually, if you look at the sentence, you can say, for nature, something that is abundant is actually gold, like is like gold for us. Nature is locally attuned and responsive. Nature doesn't go all the way to, 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 to Rajasthan to get marble to build a house in, in, in Chennai. Nature looks around and doesn't go very far Nature uses the materials that are around it, around what it wants to build and uses those materials. And finally, nature uses shape to determine functionality. Many times you will find that the shape of a tree also serves as its function. We will come back and learn each of this in detail. And you will start to understand that when you start to design, you can use many of these principles, right? And just to just to sort of reinforce what we learned. So therefore, what is what is the what are the nature's unifying patterns? How do you describe them? What you learned was one, two, three, four, five, six patterns. What you're learning now is what are they? How do you describe them? 
fundamental lessons from nature that should be considered as part of every design process. Can you believe that? I don't know how many of you are designers here, how many of you are product designers, how many of you are making fabric, how many of you are, are, are fashion designers, how many of you are making things, that maybe, maybe it's time for you to look at this and ask yourself whether there is a new thing that you can learn about designing. Essential to bio, we can distinguish from bio-inspired design because bio-inspired design may not use all these principles. This is very, very essential to all of biomimetic innovations, inventions. And of course, I don't think I should even have written the last line because that's exactly what it is, right? 3.8 billion, you can't, you can't survive for 3.8 billion years old if you don't design for that time period. So therefore, what are we learning? We're learning that nature has 10, 10 design principles. Each of them is used by nature in order to design something. Every one of them helps to helps uh, live a sustainable life and helps to save the earth. So that's the design principles or the unifying patterns of nature. What you need to do now is start to think about which one you want to learn in a more in a more detailed way. You must learn all of them, but you know it's important to find out in your in your work which one applies very very aptly. Uh, and then slowly get uh, get 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 to know each of the each of these uh, design principles.